to Cafe Ashto Athens. Over this glass of wine today, I'm going to be cheersing to the new year for space exploration and space travel. And I'm going to give you a prediction on what to expect for the new year of 2019. Cheers. The first thing you should take note of is there's going to be nine meteor showers total spanning across our entire planet Earth that you can catch in any single night sky as long as you go somewhere where there's not a lot of light pollution. The first one is actually what is going on right now. It's the Quandred meteor shower. It started January 3rd and it's going to be continuing till about next week, so middle of January. So be sure to get somewhere where there's not a lot of light pollution. The next thing I'm really looking forward to is what marks the first day of spring on March 20th, and that is known as the Vernal Equinox. And the Vernal Equinox is also what is one of two points in Earth's orbit where the sun creates both equal day and nighttime across our entire globe. The images are going to be spectacular that you're going to be able to see from space. And if you're somewhere along um, that split right down the middle, you might be able to look in one direction and see daytime and look in the other direction and see nighttime. Pretty exciting occurrence. It is called the Vernal Equinox and that will be on March 20th, 2019. Another thing I'm really excited for is that the Japanese spacecraft Hayabusa 2 arrived to the near-Earth asteroid Raigu last year, and it's already sending back information and data to be collected. So around April 1st, we can expect some of that information to be released to the public about what they're finding out about this really interesting near-Earth asteroid. There also is expected to be some samples that will be collected and maybe traveling back to Earth as soon as 2020. The next event I am really excited for because it is a solar event. It is the next total solar eclipse, which is going to be happening over the Southern Hemisphere on July 2nd. What an extraordinary summer thing to look forward to. So if any of you guys are in the Southern Hemisphere or planning to travel to the Southern Hemisphere, make sure you go somewhere in Chile or Argentina as they will be experiencing the total solar eclipse. They will be in the path of totality. So that's very exciting. I cannot wait for the images for that one. And lastly, something I'm very much looking forward to is the first test of Boeing Starliner, which is going to be a crew mission to be going to space. And that's going to start tests around March 1st is when they're going to start testing their Starliner. So I am really, really excited for that one. This is going to be such an exciting year of space, space travel, astronomical events, and so much more. So actually, if you guys wanted to find out any more information about what to look forward to to space, head on over to my website, to my blog. Um, it's astroathens.com. I am setting up a calendar right now of things to look forward to for the year. And yeah, if you guys know of anything you want to let me know, of, definitely let me know. Oh, and I cannot forget, one of the things I am really looking forward to is India's first lunar landing mission, which is Chandrayaan-2 which was due for launch January 31st, but it's now pushed until about mid-February. So I'm gonna be creating another YouTube video on that very soon um, to at least let you guys know some of the information. It is their second lunar mission. Um, Chandrayaan-1 left um, in 2008, launched from planet Earth. Um, however, it actually was only in lunar orbit, never actually landed. So Chandrayaan-2 is going to be a huge mission for India as they are looking to land. Um, and also, just so you guys know, it's through ISRO, um, as I've been hearing a lot of the, the cool kids call it. I've been calling it ISRO, which is um, India's research, uh, space research organization, India's space research organization, ISRO, ISRO. So again, thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Cafe Astro Athens. And cheers, as we usually do on New Year's Eve, with a glass of champagne, to the new year for space travel and astronomy. Till next time, please be sure to subscribe if you actually like this video. And if you have any questions or comments, definitely leave me a comment below. I love hearing from you guys. Um, and if you are uh, really liking this video, be sure to uh, put the little alert bell on because I do tend to drop videos throughout the week other than this weekly Astro Cafe Astro Athens video as well. Um, and if you guys would like to help contribute to the show, I do have a Patreon page. It's at patreon.com slash astroathens. Till next time, cheers.